हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग दिस इज योर सोशल स्टडी पीरियड नाउ विद द कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ द चैप्टर द क्लाइमेट ऑफ इंडिया टुडे वी विल प्रोसीड टू द चैप्टर टू सीजन्स स्टूडेंट्स बिफोर दैट वी रिकॉल वट वी हैव रेड ये स्टडे स्टूडेंट्स India is mainly divided into four climatic zones. These are alpine, subtropical, tropical, and arid. Students, have you read? The map is given on page number forty-four. India climatic zone. You must read this. This map you have to read. see the map on the top of the map on the right hand side legends are given in the box legends are given you will find different colors beside that which color refers what it is given but the font the uh, the font is very small the writing part is very small too small to read i'm explaining that purple color which indicates alpine region alpine zone and blue color that indicates humid subtropical zone then light green color that indicates tropical wet and dry zone after that yellow uh, deep green color that indicates tropical wet zone after that yellow color that indicate semi arid zone and the last brown color is given that indicate arid zone okay students so if you read this uh, map you will get idea you will get idea about the regions that falls in different climatic zones also you will get the idea which states falls which uh, states lies in what type of climatic zone so it is important to read now we will proceed the chapter 2 seasons students india has mainly four types of seasons we will start with winter october to february in winter season october to february winter season lasts from december to early march the year's coldest months are december and january and the average the temperature average temperature around uh, 10 to 15 degree centigrade in the northwest part of india from october onwards the sun rays become slanted over india because the sun proceed to the southern hemisphere world is divided into two parts that is northern hemisphere southern hemisphere both side of equator so in this time sun proceed to downwards that is southern hemisphere and india lies in winter uh, sorry win, uh, india lies in northern hemisphere so students the sun rays falls slantly sun rays falls on india slantly so this is the reason that 
winter comes occurs from winter season from wind uh, you say uh, october onwards the sun rays become slanted over india the days become shorter and the night become longer the temperature on the land begins to fall and during winter mountains get snow falls and winter uh, cold in winter cold wave sweeps in the, the entire mount entire northern plains coastal areas have a pleasant weather wind now start retreating to the sea due to high pressure on land to low pressure in the sea in this time sea has uh, low temperature sorry uh, sea has high temperature in compared to land okay so land having high temp uh, uh, high pressure that high pressure blows to the wind blows to low pressure that is in sea so the winds now started retreating to the sea the north northern plain get some rainfall from the cyclones coming from the west when the retreating winds cross the west uh, bay of bengal they pick up some moisture from the sea then they strike the coast of tamil nadu and provides rain to region okay this is winter season and summer season summer season that means started from march to june a short spring season lies between the uh, winter and the summer and uh, then summer season or you can say the pre monsoon okay the summer season you will say the pre monsoon so students pre monsoon season is summer season and then rainy season it is called monsoon season then post monsoon season okay so tomorrow we will read this uh, summer season and the class ends here for today tomorrow we will start the summer season revise the chapter bye